Garage Band for Max drummer track has everything you need to create fantastic sounding rhythm sections. And Garage Band's editing options do a pretty good job of allowing you to affect different parts of your virtual drum kit. But what if you want even more control when it comes to mixing your drums? In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert your drummer track regions into MIDI software instrument track regions, and then how to separate out each individual part of your drum kit so that you can effectively mix them separately. Okay, so first of all, you'll need to have created a drummer track and tweaked its pattern and fills, etc., to your liking. If you haven't got this far yet, I'll pop a link down in the description to a video where I walk you through how to set up a drummer track in GarageBand for Mac and how to get the most out of its features. Next, create a new MIDI software instrument track. Now select either the individual drummer region you want to edit or click on the drummer tracks track header to select all regions. Copy your selected regions. You can select copy from the edit menu in the toolbar if you like at the top of the screen, or you can use the keyboard shortcut Command and C. Select your newly created MIDI software instrument track and then paste again, either using the paste option in the toolbar or by using the keyboard shortcut Command and V. When you paste your drummer track into the new MIDI software instrument track, it will default to GarageBand's default piano sound. That obviously isn't what you want, so dive into GarageBand's library and you can match up the drum kit to the one used in the drummer track. Or if you want, you can go for a completely different drum kit, depending on how it sounds. Now that your drummer track is in software instrument form, you can separate the different parts of the drum kit and copy slash paste them into software instrument tracks of their own. An easy way to do this is to select the software instrument track that you've pasted your drummer tracks into and open the editor window, either by clicking the wee pencil icon in the top left of GarageBand screen or by using the keyboard shortcut E. You can select all of the MIDI notes in a row by clicking on the corresponding key at the left of the editor window, and again, you can copy them all by using Command and C on your typing keyboard or via the toolbar. Next, open a new software instrument track and paste your copied MIDI notes into that new track. Rinse and repeat for each part of your kit that you want to separate. Now that's done, you can apply things like compression, reverb, panning and other effects to each part of the kit separately. Yes, it's definitely more time consuming than just working with GarageBand's default drummer track, but it does give you a lot more control over how your drum section will sound. Let me know if you plan to use or already use this sneaky wee trick in your own GarageBand projects in the comments down below, and give that like button a good hard slap while you're down there, I really appreciate it and it helps more people see this video. And if you want more info on how to create the best drummer track possible in GarageBand for Mac, watch this video next.